Hello and welcome to my channel. For today's video we are going to be making this little bean bag pocket frog with no sew arms and legs. You can also, um, I've just added a little string up here but you could put a keychain on here. Um, he is made with a number four weight yarn and a hook that is 4.25. Um, I don't know if you can see that. And as a bonus, I've worked the same pattern up in a number six yarn with a 6.5 hook. And he works up pretty cute as well. Um, so I'm going to be doing the little one today. But if you want to grab your big yarn and try out the big one, you can just follow this exact same pattern with me. And he should turn out exactly the same as this guy. Um, you should be able to use pretty much any size yarn as long as you're a couple hook sizes down so that there's no holes so you see the stuffing. And don't forget anything you see on this table in my videos there is a YouTube video for on my channel in my playlist. And then just the usual like, subscribe, comment. Um, it really helps me out and it shows me that I need to be making more videos because you guys are enjoying them. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I am going to be making this a bit more like a beginner video. So if you're more experienced in these and crocheting, it might be a little slow. But once you get one done or two, you are probably not even going to need to watch the video anymore. It'll just be in your head. Although I do appreciate if you watch it more than once. Okay, so you're just going to make a loop because we're going to be chaining. Or... At the end of your yarn here so just make a knot with a loop and we are going to chain 10 so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and now we are going to be going into the second chain from the hook so this is the chain on your hook this is your first chain right here that little v and then this is your second chain and that is where we're going to be going So, not your first one, down to your second one, and we're just going to single crochet, nine single crochets, down to the very end. So, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine, right here in your last stitch. Now we're going to turn our work around so the Single crochets we just did are on the bottom. And we're going to go into the other side of those chains and we're going to do nine single crochets across the other side. 
So you want to make sure your first one goes in the same stitch you just went in. One. And then you're going to go in your next stitch. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, and your last stitch right in here is nine. So this was your 10th chain here and your first stitch right here. This is the stitch you're going to be going in next. Now I like to mark my um, stitches with yarn and I always need to mark this one because I'm never sure when I go around um, which stitch to go into here. So. There's going to be 18 stitches in the next row and I want to make sure when I get all the way around I end so I'm right here. All right so we're going to do one single crochet and then we're going to do what I call a double crochet cluster. I'm not sure if it's a puff or a cluster but it's a double crochet that you don't quite finish. So our next stitch is right here. If you look, that stitch stretches into that stitch. I don't know if you can see. So this is our next stitch right here. That's our stitch we just went in. So this is our next stitch. And we are going to do, start a, half, a double crochet. So yarn over into that next stitch. Grab your yarn. Pull up and through. And then you're going to go through the first two loops on your hook. And you're going to come up and around so you still have two loops. Now you're going to yarn over again. That's one. We, we're going to go into your, your same stitch you just went in. Grab your yarn. Pull up and through. You're going to have four loops on your hook. And you're just going to go through these first two. And then you'll have three. So that's two. We're going to do another one. We yarn over into that same stitch. Grab your yarn. Pull up and through. You now have one, two, three, four, five on your hook. And you're going to pull that through the first two. You've got four. And you're going to do that one more time. Yarn over in through your same stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through, grab your yarn, pull through the first two loops only. Oops, I didn't catch that last thread. It might be staying there. There we go. Now you have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. You're going to grab your yarn and you're going to pull it through all five of those loops. So grab your yarn and pull right on through. And then you're not finishing that stitch because that was part of your stitch. Those are all in that one stitch. Now you may have to do that again. Mine's probably going to be loose because I did it so slow. Now you're going to go into this next stitch. Um, hmm. This next stitch you're going to go in five across. So one. And pull this tight if it's loose. Two three, four, five, and you should have two stitches left on this side. And we're going to do another one of those 
double crochet clusters. So yarn over, in and through, grab your yarn, and then go through your two loops, leaving the other one on the hook. Do it again. Two. You have three loops on your hook. One more. Pull through two. You have four loops on your hook. And once again. And you have five loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five. And just pull your yarn through all those loops. And then you're going to single crochet into the next 10 stitches. So that's one on the side you've been working on. Make sure you pull that tight because those are your little eyeballs. And then nine more on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you should have 18 stitches by the time you're all the way around. Check that your little eyeballs are kind of even. You may want to go back and redo them if you're um, sort of one of your first few times doing that. That's the hardest part. Now we are pretty much smooth sailing for the rest of the way. Okay, for rounds three to five, we're just going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. So flip your stitch marker and we're just going to do 18 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So round four, another 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay, round five. Oop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay, for round six, we are going to start doing the arms. So just to get to ourselves um, into um, the center of the side, we're going to do one single crochet. And then we're going to start our arms by chaining 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Now make sure you keep this straight. It's more important as we go down the arm, but also for here. So we're going to again start in our second um, chain from the hook. So not this one, but this one right here. And we're going to do three slip stitches. So you're just going to grab your yarn, pull through, and then pull right through the uh, loop that's on your uh, hook. So we'll do that again. Pull through and pull through. One more time. Go through, pull your yarn, pull through there, and pull through there. Sorry, my lingo. I'm forgetting what every stitch is called. Okay, now we're going to do a chain of three. One, two, three. And now we're going to do three slip stitches again in the second chain from the hook. So not this one, but this one. So one slip stitch, two slip stitches, and three slip stitches. Now we are going to just slip stitch all the way back down this arm, making sure you don't twist this chain. So one slip stitch, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we are going to go into the next um, stitch on our frog. And we are going to do nine single crochets across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, I should mention probably before I did this, if you want your um, frog to be longer or longer arms, just add extra chains when you go up here and just keep these, the last three where you do his fingers the same. Or you can add rows here. For your first one, probably follow along and then as you get going, just make them any size you want. Okay, so now we're gonna start our second arm. So we're going to chain 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we're going to do our three slip stitches starting in the second chain from the hook. One. two, three, and then you're going to chain your three, one, two, three, and then you're going to do your three slip stitches back down starting in the second chain from the hook, one, 
two and three and then your nine slip stitches down the length of the arm making sure not to twist your chain one two three four five six seven eight and nine And now you're going to do eight single crochets, I guess, I think that's the back, along the back of your frog. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, for rows 7 to 11, we're just going to go around and do 18 single crochets in each round. Um, I'm going to be counting in two sets of, there's five rows, so two sets of 18. So is that what, 36? Two sets of 18, 36, and then one set of 18. So I have my five rows without having to use a row counter or think about my rows. So one... Then you're going to go, which way, so this back, you're going to pull your arm over because you're behind this single crochet. You want to be behind the next one, which is on this side of the arm. So you pull your arm kind of out of your way and get down in behind that second single crochet and give it a tug so it's nice and tight. So that's two three, four, whoops, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, ten. Now we're behind this one before the arm. So we need to be behind this one after the arm. So pull your arm over and out of your way and get behind that next single crochet right there. So there was your last one. There's the hole for the arm and there's your next one. So you need behind there under the arm kind of. Pull that tight. And then just keep going. For, I forgot my uh, number now. Talking. But this should be 18. Okay, when you get back to your um, marker, you can just go around and check if you have 18. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Around the arm, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And I'm just counting the V's all the way around. So that was our first row of five. And I'm just going to continuous count the next row. So this was 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 
34, 35, and 36. So that was two rows of our five that we need. And I'm going to start one again and do my two sets of 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Flip your marker if you're using one, and I'm going to continuous count the next row. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So we have four rows of 18 and we need five. So our last row, which is also row 11, we're just going to do 18 around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, and 18. Now I'm just going to show you, if you're not sure what row you're on, I am just going to show you quickly how to be sure. So what you want to do is find where you did your first chain and you had um, 9 on this side and 9 on this side. And if you're not sure, you can either go by the holes or you'll see your V's are going this way on that side and your V's are going the opposite way on the other side. And then you can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now if you really can't find this middle, you can also double whatever row you're on. So if you're on row 11, if you count this side and this side, you should have 22 starting from here all the way to here okay so now we're going to do the leg row and remember if you wanted to make it longer you can just keep doing more rows of 18. Um, okay so we're going to do three oh you might have to adjust where your legs are in the front but i'm guessing if you're Adjusting this longer, you probably know how to do that already. For me, I got to do three single crochets to get my front leg up here. So, one, two, and three. And we are now kind of on the side, a tad bit to the front. And we're going to do 13 single crochet, or 13 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12 and 13 and this is the same as the hands only we're doing one extra toe so in your second um, stitch from the hook you're gonna do your three slip stitches Oop, I'm splitting my yarn here so one two three chain three one two three do your three slip stitches one two three and then you're going to chain three again that's two toes so let's make the third one two three and then your three slip stitches one two and three and then you're going to do your nine slip stitches down the side of the leg one two three four five six seven eight and nine um, and then we are going to do seven single crochets across the front one two whoop come on two three four five six and seven and then we're going to start our second leg so that's 13 chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and your three slip stitches starting in your second chain from the hook one two three four five three and your three chains one two three and your three slip stitches whoops almost single crocheted one two and three and your third toe chain three and three slip stitches one two three and then you're going to do your nine slip stitches down the leg remembering not to twist the chain one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then we have eight single crochets along the back so one two three four five six seven and eight okay now you can put his little eyes on I should have got these out, but I didn't. So for the little one, I'm using six millimeter eyes just because, yeah, just because I have a lot of them. Um, you can go up a little bigger depending on what you have. Um, for the larger one, I used a 14 millimeter eye. 
Um, I think you'd go a little bigger too on that one. So I just, so this is your back, wherever your stitch markers were, where you're, um, you ended off not quite to the side yet. And I just put mine in these holes right here. Just check that they're where you want them. Like you might want to raise them up. I'm in this one. I raised them up a little bit so they were here. Just kind of depends how your eyeballs end up falling and how you want them to look. Just be sure if you are using safety eyes and not making um, embroidery ones or little X's. Just make sure that your backs aren't going to come through. That does actually look a little better. So, now I stuffed mine so I didn't have to worry so much about these back posts. But the first one I made, not that one, the eyes I had a little higher and the backs definitely went through the back of the, like out here poking. So just be aware of that when you're setting your eyes in and choosing your eyes. I know some people will take a lighter and melt the backs of their eyes. Um, I suggest don't do that unless you're experienced in doing that um, or you don't care if you light your piece on fire. If it's just a practice and you wanna try it out, assuming you're an adult, <laughs> Okay, so let's get a little bit of stuffing in him, if you're going to stuff him. I like him stuffed. I just make sure I get a lot of stuffing back behind his eyeball post there. And then just a little bit of stuffing. So he's firm, but whoop. So he's firm, but not hard. So that might be a little bit more than I have in the other one. Yeah, definitely is. He's gonna be a bit fatter, little frog. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you, or tell you, and show you a couple different ways to finish this guy off. So. begin with you're going to want to get your um your stitches over to here to his leg so that you can fold this and close him up so we're going to put three stitches in you don't really need your marker i guess ah i can't i can't grab it sorry i don't edit myself out so this is a little amateurish videoing style but we're not perf all perfect, I guess, right? <laughs> Two and three. Now, you can cut your yarn right now and you can just weave in and out. Just in and out, in and out, in and out, matching up your stitches. And that's what I did on this one. So it'll look like that. Um, originally I single crocheted here, around the leg, here, across, and then around the leg, and one single crochet here, tied it off, but I'm going to try making this one a sitting one, so this is going to be the third way. And all we're going to, oh, excuse me, all we're going to do, so that's where we ended. So we need to come up and around this leg into the back loop of this stitch. So this is where you would normally put your single crochet. 
this is your front loop, and this is your back loop. So we're going to go in all these back loops, and we're going to do one single crochet and one decrease all the way around. Hopefully we end up with 12. I haven't done this yet, so you want to get in right in behind this first stitch in that back loop. So that's one, and then we're going to decrease, and to decrease, Decreased, you go in this back loop of the next stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. You go in the next back loop of the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull through, and you have three loops on your hook and you just finish it off like a regular cro uh, single crochet. So our next single crochet, so that was two, this will be three. And then we're gonna decrease for four. And then a single crochet for five. Then we're going to go into the back of this stitch right here behind our next stitch. And we are decreasing for six. So make sure you get in both those back loops. And then a single crochet for seven. And then a decrease for eight. And a de um, single crochet for nine. And then a decrease for ten. Then a single crochet for eleven. And a decrease. For 12. Now if you're having a hard time going in the back loops, you can do it the regular way, but this way is going to give you a little ridge so he'll have a flat bottom. If you go through both loops, he's going to have just a curved bottom. That might be cute too, but he probably won't sit flat um, like you'll want him to sit. Okay, so for the next row, and I am going to put my stitch marker in. You don't need to. You're just going to go regular, back to regular now, under both loops. And you're going to do six decreases. So in and pull through, in and pull through, whoop, and then, ah, come on, and then pull through all three loops. So that's one, two, three, and we're just doing our six decreases, four, five, and six. I mean, you don't have to be too specific here. It's the bottom and no one's really going to see it. Maybe if you made it a keychain, but even then it's hanging on the bottom. So then you're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch and pull through and tie off. I like to pull through twice. Cut your yarn. And see how that's flat there now instead of rounded okay so I'm just gonna tie one extra little oh no we gotta close it off first so we're just gonna weave in and out of your last loops of your last stitches and you'll cinch that up. I like to tie mine. Oh, I should have left this longer so I could have put a, um, a tie at the top. So I just secure it with one more knot and then stick my yarn up through where I can kind of hide that knot. And for this guy, I'm going to go up through the center 
Actually, this is where the, cent the center of his head is. And I'm still, oh, I actually, I still have room to give him a little tie. Um, if you made your um, tail longer, you can um, do a little chain for this instead of just a string. Or you could have run it out of the back and cut it off short so that you can't see it. And I'm just going to put this down in here. Um, so that's basically your little frog. Um, if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. Somebody's been hitting the dislike, and I, I wish they could give you a reason why. But I've had a couple dislikes. Who knows? Anyway, um, let's see. So I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, thanks for watching. I hope I see you again in another one of my videos. Um, stay safe, take care, and happy crocheting. Well, here's your proof that I don't really do much for editing in my videos. <laughs> I, we didn't even put a face on him. So I just go kind of like this from his eyes. Um, about one, two, th so here's his eyes, one step down, two steps down, and just inside of where his eyeballs are, kind of even on both sides. This is just a simple, easy mouth. I'm just going to tie it on the one side here. And then I'm just going to pull that knot back in. It would have been a lot easier had we done this before we closed him up. Then you could just fold him inside out. So when you guys do, if you guys do a second one, please do it that way. And you will save yourself a little bit of time. But this way isn't so hard. It's not too, if I can get the right strings. Come on, where's the... That makes, this is making absolutely no sense. This should just pull out. There we go. <laughs> this is the part that takes me forever. I think that's why I forget about it. Because it's like, oh, I'll let it sit. And then I'll do it later. So I use black, obviously, for the mouth. And I'm just going to grab a little spare strand of pink I have sitting over here. And for his cheeks, we're just going to go um, on this side of the eye a couple of times. I'm going one stitch over from the mouth and then up. And here I'll go one stitch over from the mouth and up. Or right around in here. So I'm going to come up through this. Somewhere in the middle under his mouth. Doesn't really matter. And then just go a couple of times around that stitch trying to keep his legs out of the way and I apologize I'm not looking at the camera so I hope I'm staying in the frame while I'm doing this but I might pop out I'd love to get better at videoing but I just seem to be flustery and messy all the time. So he's getting three little circles on his cheek. And then you're going to go around to this side. And try and match that up. My holes aren't really where I want them. But not much you can do about that. I usually have one crooked cheek. You could go um, lengthwise too. If you want, if you'd like the look of that better. So that was twice and wrapping around here will be three. And you're just going to come right back out 
where you first went in. Oh, this is cute. This is different color than I used on my other one. Yeah, it's a lighter pink. The lighter pink looks nice, I think. Then you're just going to give that a tie. And you're going to pull it back on through. I thought about giving them a tongue. But I just didn't know how funny. Actually, I could have just went up there and gave them a tongue. If you want to try giving them a tongue, I'd love to see. If you want to share your work with me on my Facebook page, there will be a link down in the bottom. And pinned at the top of my craft page, there is a... Um, just a little post with the YouTube there. You can go down in the comments and share a photo. I should have done that. That would have been cute, hey? I really need to figure out what I'm going to do with all this stuff. I'm getting too much overflow on my table. I'm loving this pink with this green. Okay, now we are done. Unless you're going to make a tongue, which I want to see, please. You don't have to, but I love to see what everyone does. Okay. I actually am kind of liking the sitting one. So we got the little beanbag one, the little sitting one, and then the big puffy one. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. And I'm going to say bye again. Stay safe. Happy crocheting. All that stuff. And thanks for watching. Hope I see you soon. Bye-bye.